Okay, welcome back to the channel. Thank you everybody for watching this video. Don't forget, hit that like, subscribe, share, and let's get into it. Yes, the ladies have brought the drama this evening. When I tell you it was so much shade going on in this episode. Um, it started off with um, Cynthia contacting the ladies, letting them know that she was having her uh, Bailey Q, as she liked to refer to it. And, you know, it was cool. I can understand her. She was telling the ladies she didn't want any babies there. It was for the adults, but then she later changed her mind and let Kenya and uh, Portia know that they were able to bring the babies with them. Uh, also, Candy gave us a look at her and um, uh, her daughter, um, Also, Candy and Todd and Riley and uh, Todd's daughter, her name just slipped my, slipped my mind, they all went and showed us the apartment that Riley would be staying in in New York. Very nice luxury apartment that Candy will be paying for while Riley is interning at a um, law firm. And yeah, nice. You know, Riley has been living a very privileged life. Uh, having Candy as a mother. And we see how privileged it is when she didn't realize that you have to fill the ice trays up. You have to clean up behind yourself when you no longer have maids and servants and people to um, do these things for you. You have to do them for yourself. So, um... I actually thought it was nice to see that um, people of color are able to live this way in this time and era. So, kudos for Candy for being able to support the nice thing in life for her child. And um, portraying black people in a positive way that we don't normally get to see. Um, so, that was interesting. Uh, this is going to be a good learning experience for Riley. Uh, and is teaching her... I think it will help her teacher to uh, appreciate and also uh, a very humbling experience, too. So, let's get into the ladies in red, we'll call it, where they all meet up. But before that, I want to touch on this whole thing. Uh, I want to touch on two things. I want to touch on the part of Portia not finding a net, not having a nanny. I don't understand why Portia does not have a nanny. I don't get that because you know you have to, you know you're a working mother, so that should be a top priority. Yes, you're depending on your family, but you know your family have their own life and business and stuff, so I don't understand why that has not been your number one priority to find a nanny. I don't get that part. Like, that that doesn't make sense to me. So, you know, Portia's been heavily relying on her mother to help out. Although her mother has her own business. So, that, I don't understand it. Like, I think, I think I'm with the mom. I think she's just being too picky. Like, yes, we all understand that's your child, but that should, you, you just need to take more time. Um, choosing someone that you feel is going to be um, adequate for your child. And, you know, that, that is a top priority. So, Kenya has definitely chosen the wrong man to marry. He is so detached from this marriage. It's ridiculous. Like, and what I find the most... Um, the most strange thing about the whole thing about Kenya is that she is always so quick to point out everyone else's flaws, every those shade left and right, but yet you cannot handle the fact your husband doesn't want to have sex with you. You have not, you know, 
what's the what's the problem here? Like you can't you have to know that this is not gonna work. Why is your husband not wanting to have sex with you? You went on last episode, you went you you telling Candy how you went on your anniversary alone. And he was okay with that. You you and the baby went like this man is doing everything to not show you any type of intimacy. Everything is about the child. So that is such a red flag. Like, is he down low? Like, does he, you know, like, well, come on. Something's not, something definitely is not right here. And, and what type of husband just stops having sex with their wife altogether? That, yeah. Hmm. Okay. So let's get back to this episode, the ladies in red. Well, the gift that keeps the re gift or whatever. But um Kenya um Cynthia's um barbecue requirement was that you had to wear red. So Kenya decides that she is going to take this time to throw shade at Eva, of course. Because of what Portia told her about the doll that she gave to her child uh, for the birthday party. She's going to re-gift it to Portia's child. And she's going to do it at the birthday, at uh, Cynthia's barbecue. This is the time that she wants to do this in front of these women. Of course, it's those shade. You know, it's like... Kenya does all kinds of stuff for attention. And this is her opportunity to get attention because she's definitely not getting attention at home. So, I'm, and, and we all know that Kenya never received the attention she wanted from her mother growing up. And this is, oh, she's getting attention from the ladies because I'm going to throw shade because why not be petty? Why not start more drama? Instead of just saying, hey, what's the problem? Instead of just talking to Eva like a grown woman and addressing the issue that you think there is or saying, hey, what's the problem? Can we work this out or something? No. I'm going to re-gift your gift in front of people to cause a scene. So when they address it at the table while everybody's eating outside, then... Of course, she wants to deflect and bring Cynthia in it. Well, see, you had a problem with Cynthia before. So, you know, her and Eva have words, and her and Cynthia have words. And then Marlo comes, because she arrived late. And then Marlo and Eva have words. And then they're going back forth. Mar Marlo brings up the whole thing again about you're living beyond your means. And Eva's like, I've had enough. I'm going to leave. But... Because Eva's like, me and my family and my husband are fine. And she's like, you know, I'm pregnant. I'm going to leave. And this is something Marlo has never experienced. She knows nothing about. You know, they are just shades, shots being thrown left and right. And Kenya even had some words with Cynthia. And you, it, it was ridiculous. The, the, but this is reality tv this is what we are looking for this is this is the drama we've been waiting for of course nanny was not invited because you know nanny and cynthia are still going at it so um what's her name yavonica 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 she came there to of course uh, but she let Nini know that she was going to go to Cynthia's gathering. And, of course, her, they had some words. Her and Cynthia had some words. But Cynthia was like, you know, I said what I said. And I was not taking shots. I just was expressing how I was feeling about Nini at the time. And if you went back and told it, that was fine. But this is the thing about um, people who play both sides. You're going to get caught in the middle. And that's what these ladies love to do. They love to keep the drama going. They love to run back and tell it. And, and keep the rumors and gossip. And 
keep all that uh, toxic energy flowing. And it's amazing because they're so old. Like, you ladies are so old to keep the drama going. And I guess that's why they're still on TV. So, they, you know, they take it inside because Eva leaves. And then, you know, they take it inside to play a game, which really, I don't know how much of a game it was. Cynthia is like, well, we're going to give out medals. So they give out medals for who's the shadiest, which I believe Kenya got that medal for being the shadiest. And who is the, the, the twerker, the best twerker. And, you know, you know, different types of things. And I guess that was supposed to be fun. Or, I don't know. It seemed to me it was more, to cause more confusion. Because you, you kind of have to out people and say, hey, you know, you, you kind of have to say you felt a certain type of way about people. <coughs> mm, excuse me. Mm. You felt a certain type of way about people to nominate them for these different categories. So, I, I don't know. You can, you kind of have to say, you know, I, I feel that you're the most thirstiest because, you know, you're, you're on Instagram doing certain things, acting thirsty. <laughs> so, you know, that's, you know, this this episode was, was uh, I think this is the beginning. I guess next week is going to be even more... Um, the ladies are going to have more of a thing. But Kenya did open up when she said the one medal is for the, the one who has the most insecurities. And she said that she feels like uh, um, for those who are running, I'm still at my son's house and um, I'm in one of his rooms and uh, it's a TV over there. He hasn't put up, but in that box, that's in case you keep seeing it. Um, he, uh, Kenya was talking about the, the category was, uh, most insecure and she was talking about, she feels the most, um, she didn't feel the unconditional love. You know what I'm saying? Like they wanted her to explain why Portia was asking her why she felt that way and she didn't want to go into details and you're like, okay, you're, but you're in a whole marriage. So you're married and you don't feel like you have unconditional love. How long do you think this is going to last? How long do you think this is going to work? I don't, I don't get it. I don't get it. So you waited this long in life to have a child. So did you just marry this person just for to have a baby? Did you not see the red flags? Did you not see the warning signs? Did you not see that this may not be the person for you? That this is not going to work? That there's something wrong here? Was this all a mistake or this is fine? I don't know. Well, let's see what happens next week. Until then, peace.